I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And welcome to our next video in our Moving Forward with God series. Mm -hmm. And today we would like to talk to you about finances. And finances is something that uh, it's, it's a subject that's precious to everyone mm -hmm. because our finances are pretty much in, in the natural world. It's the foundation that our lives are built on. Mm -hmm. um, finances affect every area of our lives. Mm -hmm. They affect the quality of our life. They affect what we can do, what we can't do, how we do things. There are so many, there are so many things that, that finances touch and affect mm -hmm. that it, it's very far reaching. Um, and, you know, obviously we can't address every aspect of finances, but we can address a few of those. Um, you know, we can, we want to talk a little bit today about being diligent in handling our money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we could, we could talk a lot about giving and tithing and all those things. Um, but we want to talk more about what we do with the money that we get mm -hmm. because you know we've talked a lot about about other aspects of finance in the past um, and and yes we should tithe um, yes we should give to god the bible says give god our first fruits mm -hmm. um, so we need to do that but that's as far as we'll go today with that we want to talk more about what do we do with our money mm -hmm. How do we spend it? What are we spending it on? Are we spending it diligently? Are we spending it foolishly? Um, there are so many different ways that we can handle our money. And the first thing that we need to get understanding on that will affect the rest of it mm -hmm. is the fact that our money is not ours. Mm -hmm. The money that we have, whether we earn it on a job, we make it, you know, through investments, whatever it is, however we make our money, that money is given to us by God's hand. Mm -hmm. It's his hand of provision. And God is our provider. So everything that we get comes by way of his hand. Mm -hmm. Unless we're doing something we're not supposed to be doing. Um, you know, if, if we're doing illegal <laughs> stuff, that's not God's hand. That is the enemy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, we're going to assume that nothing is being done illegally mm -hmm. and that all your money is being being gained righteously mm -hmm. um, and when I say righteously I mean legally and through means that God has provided yes so you know, where do we start with this how do we how do we break this all down mm -hmm. well you know first of all let's talk as briefly as possible about debt um, debt is a is a monster Mm -hmm. Debt is huge, mm -hmm. and debt is something that, you know, we get emails from people all the time, mm -hmm. and we get phone calls sometimes also. Um, people with financial woes, people are, you know, they're just having difficulties, and what's happened is they've gotten themselves into debt. Mm -hmm. And, you know, let us first be up front and, and, and tell you that we've had debt. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been there. So we know, we've wrestled with debt before. And, you know, God has been really, really, really gracious with us and yeah. helped us and taught us and shown us things that we can now show other people, we can share with people. Mm -hmm. We know the evils of debt mm -hmm. um, from firsthand experience. So we're not, we're not talking down to anyone. Mm -hmm. We understand that debt is very easy to, to get into. Um, and the world makes it extremely, extremely easy mm -hmm. and tempting to get into debt mm -hmm. you know things like buy now pay you know no interest for a year or buy now and no interest for five years mm -hmm. um, and they don't do that to be nice they do that because they know you're gonna be lax about it mm -hmm. most people will be lax mm -hmm. and you'll end up paying interest mm -hmm. um, you know zero percent introductory rates on credit cards unless you know that you can use that card to your benefit, don't do it. Mm -hmm. um, debt is just, it's this monster that swallows people up. Mm -hmm. And it's something that once it gets hold of us, it's hard to get rid of, it's hard to break that grip. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure that 
we're being very diligent with what we spend and how we spend it to mm. avoid getting into debt. And if yeah. we get into debt, then we need to be even more diligent with our finances to get ourselves out. Um, if we're in debt, it's not something that we can get out of quickly. It's something that takes hard work yes. and perseverance mm -hmm. to get out of. Discipline. It takes discipline. Mm -hmm. And a lack of discipline is what causes us to get into mm -hmm. debt because we want something that we can't afford mm. and we're not willing to be patient and wait and work toward it. I was just going to say, you know, the most important thing we can remember is when we're getting ready to purchase something mm -hmm. or um, buy something or purchase something or uh, we're thinking about doing something to learn to just pull back mm -hmm. and just pray about it. Yeah. And just, you take know, time. take time because you know, I find with myself a lot of times that the the very thing that I really want to get, mm -hmm. I don't really need. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah. I can do without it. Right. And, you know, when you're in that mode or in that moment where you want to get something and, you're, and you're, everything in you is saying, yes, buy it, I mm -hmm. need it. If we can discipline ourselves, even in that moment, yeah. even if we do need it, to just give it a little time. Yeah. Just give it a little time yeah. and see. Um, it helps. It right. helps a lot. And um, it's very important that we don't just jump. Right. Whether it's with yeah. that or anything, really. Yeah. But we're talking about finances. Yeah. Take right. your time. Don't, don't jump. Right. Don't jump into it right away. Give yourself time. You know, ask God, you know, help me. If I don't need this right now, show me. Help me right. to, to just hold back mm -hmm. and to just n not put my money out there for it. Right. You know, he will. He oh, yeah. he's, he's personal, mm -hmm. and if you're asking him, yep. he's gonna help us. Right. You know, it's as simple as that. Yeah. You know, if yep. if we're asking him and we're sincere about asking him, mm -hmm. he's gonna help us. Right. And it it's a good thing if you find yourself jumping and wanting to move very quickly. Yeah, impulse buys. That's a sign right mm -hmm. there that you probably are getting into something or doing something or buying something you really don't need. Right. Right. Um, give yourself some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, just yep. wait. Wait a little bit. And you know, part of it is something that we've learned over the last few years, especially, is if if you're in a store and you have something in your cart or you're carrying something around that you you think you're going to buy, you know, like Pastor Ellie said, you have to you have to ask first: Is this? Do I really need this? Mm -hmm. You know, do I really need it? Or if I need need it, do I need this one? Mm -hmm. Is there something that would that would fill the you know fill the purpose fulfill the purpose that maybe costs less right you know it, it doesn't have to be mm. the latest and the greatest mm -hmm. and you know i know this kind of goes against some of what we hear taught mm. but we have to be diligent with our money yes and something that i that we want to put out there is and and again this is something that we've learned you know mostly over the last few years don't ever pay full price for anything mm. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Every place that you buy something will have some kind of discount available at some point in time, some kind of sale or mm -hmm. special, or maybe you can go somewhere else and get the same thing cheaper. Mm -hmm. But take the time to look around. Mm -hmm. Take the time to shop around. Mm -hmm. If it's an item that you want to buy, maybe you've been saving up for a while, you want to buy something, first of all, Congratulations on saving up for it and yeah. not not putting it on a credit card. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you need to be commended for that. But when you've got the amount saved up, mm -hmm. shop around. Mm -hmm. You know, comparison shop. Yeah. Get online if you can and, and do some price comparisons. Go to the different mm -hmm. places that offer this item for sale. Mm -hmm. See what they'll give you. Mm -hmm. See what price they'll mm -hmm. give you. Most times places will do price matching. So if, you know, place A has it for this price, but place B has it for a little lower price, but you still want to buy it from place A, show them the price that place B yes. has. And okay. most times they will price match. Yes. Do everything that you can to do your due, dil mm -hmm. due diligence. Yes. Uh, do your homework mm -hmm. and, and don't ever spend more on something than you need mm -hmm. to spend. It's amazing how much you can save when you oh, stop yes. paying mm -hmm. full price. Mm -hmm. Use coupons, yes. you know, use 
promo codes if you're shopping online. Mm -hmm. There are so many places that will offer those things or have sales occasionally. And it's very rare that the thing that we need to buy needs to be bought right now. Right. You know, you know, unless the sole falls off your shoe, you don't really need that new shoe today. Right. You know, you don't need those <laughs> new shoes today, but right. maybe there's something you've been looking forward to getting and you're, yeah. Save, yeah. you're saving your money. And so now you've got the money for them, but shop around, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, whether it's a new pair of shoes, mm -hmm. if it's clothing, if it's a car, if it's something for your house, mm -hmm. you know, God has given us intelligence to use. Mm -hmm. And so we need to use it even when yes. it comes to spending our That's money, right. mm -hmm. because let me tell you something, everybody wants our money. Yeah. Everybody is out to get our money mm -hmm. and it's amazing the marketing campaigns that these major companies come up with mm -hmm. to make us feel like we have to buy the latest mm -hmm. and we have to buy it from them. Mm -hmm. And they come up with all these benefits and trust me, I know because I've done a lot of work in marketing, they're slick, you know, mm -hmm. they are very slick when it comes to making us feel like we've got to have mm -hmm. that latest thing. Yeah. And this is why we see things like people camping out in front of an electronics store for four or five or six days before the newest phone comes out, right. you know, because they've got to have it. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we need to be diligent with our money. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that we're not going into debt. If we have debt, we need to be working toward paying it off and not accumulating further debt. Yes. If we're buying things, we don't need to pay full price. Mm -hmm. And you know, if we're, if we're in a store, and I started to say this earlier, and I guess I kind of got <laughs> off on the wrong track, not on the wrong track, just a yes. rabbit trail. Mm -hmm. But if we're in a store and we've got something in our hand, or we've got it in our cart, instead of going right to the cash register and right. checking out, walk around for a little while. Mm -hmm. But don't walk around and look for more stuff to put in the cart. Just think about That's what you right. have. That's right. You know, look at it think about give it yourself a little bit of time to yeah. ponder on it and, and yeah give God time to talk to you yeah let, <laughs> he him, needs to. let him tap us on his shoulder and say <laughs> think about this it's, one now. it's when we're in that hurry that you yeah know, when we're hurrying and when yeah. we we just you know you'll notice you'll spend more yeah when you're in a hurrying yeah. mode yeah um the, it's you'll those impulsive buys you'll just you grab know? you'll grab the the most expensive whatever because you want to get it and get yeah. moving and, and the next thing you know you're out the door and you paid twice what you should have for something or you go you know? home later and you look at your receipt and you always think about save your it. receipts <laughs> i don't know how many times i've gone back to the store and taken something back because yeah. I've, I've gotten home and i've thought hmm, boy i guess i didn't need that as bad as i thought i did yeah. and you know you bring it back and you you know you learn from that you yeah. know learn from it mm -hmm. and and realize that the money that we're spending is god's money it's god's money and when and we start to get that in this then we it's his money a little different and he with our may money. want that money to be used for something else mm -hmm. and we're we're spending it on something that right we quickly thought we needed <laughs> yeah yep it's always those impulse buys mm -hmm. you know um so we need to take our time when we're buying something mm -hmm. and if we get it home and we realize we just spent money we shouldn't have spent don't be prideful you know we can't be prideful about mm -hmm. taking it back just mm -hmm. Just swallow our pride, walk back into the store with, with the receipt and just, you know, tell them we, we don't want it, we don't need it, whatever. Yes, that's right. uh, you know, obviously, as long as we haven't used it. Mm -hmm. um, so we hope that and there's so much more, mm -hmm. there's so much more that we could talk about. But this will hopefully give you some direction and, and maybe give you some pointers on how to save money, how to be diligent with our money. Yes. Again, we always need to remember that our money is not ours. Mm -hmm. That money comes to us by God's provision. Mm -hmm. And if we start looking at it as God's money, mm -hmm. trust me, we will handle it differently. That's right. <laughs> we will do things way differently. So that's it for our series on moving forward with God. Um, we're gonna wrap it up with this one and we hope it's been helpful. Mm -hmm. We hope that as you guys have watched these different videos that it's that it has kind of maybe triggered some things mm -hmm. and helped to see some things in a different light yes. and shed light on things that you know maybe we were missing or something mm -hmm. you know that we don't think of. So um, again we just we want to see everyone excel mm -hmm. in their relationship with God. Yes. We want to see everybody move forward and upward. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and and just 
see God bless your lives like crazy. Yes. Um, Amen. That's it for now, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed the series. Mm. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Spend yes. time with those that you love. Mm. Be sure to, to love on them, hug them, you know, let them know how much they mean to you. And um, that's it for now. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.